for editing because you guys got to miss all of the gross sounds I just made <laughs> right before I started recording this. But welcome back, this is Savage Sage, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Breath of Fire 2. Last time, um, Jean got thrown in jail because of, apparently, a fake prince came up and swooped up on his castle when he was out chasing some tails. So, we gotta fix that, but first, we saw a cool little cave up over here, and I'm... I am personally very... Oh my gosh. Friggin' horseflies poisoning me. I do need to refill on my freaking um, items here. We'll do that in a little bit when we go back to the scene before. But as always, the encounter rate is murdering us. So, oof, do I try it? No, I'm not gonna try it. Let's check out this cave. Ooh, it's got some sinister music and a super buff guy. Hello. The Wildcat Restaurant. It's very strict about manners, so you must follow the caution notes. That's easy. Is this a cool restaurant? Is it pretty famous or what? Five star? Sure, let's check in. Our things? Oh, we checked in our things. Yeah, he took our items from us. I mean, I guess that's fine. That's fine, he'll give it to us on our way back in. Please remove your hats. I mean, okay. So we'll leave all of our helmets, that's okay. So actually, every single one of these rooms, he's gonna be asking you to take off um, different equipment. Um, the jacket, I'm gonna say no to. So if you say no, you're gonna have to uh, deal with the buff guard. Can you not read? Would you please do as you're told? No. So certain things you can refuse on and fight this guard. So here is the bouncer. Oh, I need to change my formation up. Let's see. Yeah, scramble seems the best with this party because I'm not willing to le let this guy have our um, armor. The helmets, sure. Items, fine. Rand can heal and Nina has renew. Whatever. Um, but the jackets, I'm going to hang on to. Thanks. I don't mind fighting a bouncer over it. Hopefully you guys don't either. Um, so let's just keep taking this guy out. There's nothing too special about him. Um, as always, I like to use cold. I wouldn't say he's necessarily worth using the defense down on, um, but you can if you want. But as you can see, he's pretty easy. So screw you, we're keeping our jacket. And uh, our weapons and shields with a plate and a fork. Not gonna do that. We need our weapons for sure. That's all of our damage output. Um, no, we can't read. I refuse. And I'll kill you over it. Once again, that bouncer isn't too hard. Uh, they're decent experience, not really worth the time though, so that's why I leave the helmets and the items, fine. Um, please rub salt and pepper on your bodies. Okay. Kinda hot. <laughs> that one I don't mind. I don't think that affects you. It might. If it does, whatever. It's almost meal time. How do you like your meat cooked? Um, you like it rare. No matter what you actually like in real life, put rare. You'll see why in a second. It's, um, it's pretty important. Because, little did you know, you are the meat. Oh! <laughs> We're on fire, and yeah, so if you put rare, it's gonna damage you the least amount. Um, obviously, medium or well done will do more damage to you. Um, which is not good, because this cook up here, yeah, we're still alive. Yeah, he's trying to eat us. That's why they wanted us to remove all of our equipment, replace them with a plate and fork and napkin and rub salt and pepper all over our bodies. He's trying to cook us. This is wild cat. And like I said, he is trying to cook us alive right now and eat us. Let's show off the ice dragon here. I don't believe that he has any elemental weaknesses. Um, if he does, they're not too prominent. I, I, don't, I don't find myself using them too much. So just that, I am going to use defense down on him just to see if we can do a little extra damage. Because that did work last time that I used it, and if it continues to work... Ooh, don't dice, Nina. Oh my gosh, that's like the one person he couldn't do that to, and I didn't think he would hit her. And he went and hit her. And she was gonna bring in... We don't have our items, and she has Renew, so that's sick. This is going great. 512. The dragons are insane. Oh, and he's done. Fine. I'm still mad that you killed Nina, but I guess I'll get over it. <laughs> I guess, so I used to always do this before the Witch's Tower, which I guess you can. It's just a little bit uh, harder then. And he just teleports off. 
fucker. And yeah, now you're welcome into this nice restaurant. There's nothing really here. Um, the only reason I like to do this now, because later, if you don't do this now, you will have to do it um, in the story later. But am I m mad that you tried to turn us into steaks? Hmm, what a tough question. Let me think on it real quick. Alright, so after thinking about it pretty hard, um, no, I guess I'm not mad. It's fine. But yeah, you want to say no there, so then he can... Yeah, I'm pretty soft-hearted. Don't try to eat my heart, but it, it's soft. So he will teach us a new move. Person who wants to learn the trick, come forward and talk to me again. So you have to put them in the front. Um, I actually like to give this skill to Cat. Now I've seen a lot of different people with a lot of different opinions on this. Some people will give it to Nina in case she's running out of AP. This move that he gives you is like a no AP damage, non-elemental damage thing. Um, so she could use that in the start of their attack. But in my personal opinion, if Nina runs out of AP, you're doing it wrong. Um, and then people have said to give it to Ryu, so it's always in your party. But Ryu does so much damage on his own, I don't think he needs this. Cat is the fastest character, and I do find myself using her often. So we're going to teach her this move that he hasn't said yet. And she learned Chop Chop! hi yeah yeah So yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that's the only reason to do this cave over here is to learn Chop Chop for now. As we see, it's basically to shred food. Um, it's pretty much static damage against a, an enemy. It's non-elemental, so it's neat. <coughs> I like giving it on Cat because she has no AP anyway. And uh, it's nice to kind of switch it up than just attack with her constantly. Um, let's rest up here real quick. And then I guess we're going to go to Seema Fort and then see if we can do anything for Jean. Because I guess, I mean, he was kind of kicked out of his own castle. That is unfortunate, so let's go help him out. Get in our little boat. We're right on over there. And we're back in Seema Fort. And under the water here, below this waterfall, is another little cave. It's got some creepy music, but it actually leads right up into the castle itself. Um, I'm a new type of frog. Yeah, I'm gonna go through the leftovers, that's it. If that's fine, that works for you, so that's fine. A gold fly, huh? That's disgusting, but I guess you're frogs. So it makes sense that you'd... Hello. You piece of shit. Look at who's down there. Oh my god. It's the bat lady. Give her to me. Oh, you guys caught her. Nice, nice. Well, she doesn't like to eat the food, so we can't get her now. But maybe, just maybe, if Jean is in charge again, he'll get us access to her. That'd be nice. Look, they got flies and worms and... I don't even know if those are roaches, spiders. That's what you get, bat lady. Gosh. Alright. Well, I guess we should help Jean then. He's down here. Um, yeah, he does draw well. Hey, uh, you wanna let him out, please? We're gonna break him out of jail. Um, something like that. That's rude. Whoa, whoa. Why did this have to escalate so fast? No, I don't, I don't really wanna kill you. I mean, I guess. But we do need to talk to Jean. I guess I'll kill you, man. Yes, I need to. Yeah, pretty much you uh, You have to kill him. This guy's willing to put his life on the line, and uh, I guess we have to take it. Yes, he's the real Prince Jean. You're stupid. You think you can fight us? You can't. Here's the jailer. He's nothing too special. Let's show off. Chop, chop, which we just got. And we'll go ahead and use hold on him. So yeah, slices and dices. Nice. I think that did 74. Does it do 74 every time, or is it like a percentage thing? I don't remember. We'll just find out here in a second, won't we? Yeah, the jailer is not too hard. He does counterattack, so you gotta watch out for that. And as you can tell, Rand is super slow, but he does hit pretty hard with uh, the gear and setup that we have currently. But he is a slow healer, so you just need to take that into account. Let's do Chop Chop again. Just knock him down. I mean, he said he wanted to die. So yeah, I think it's not, it's just non-elemental damage. It's good for Cat. I like it. 
and cold right on your head. You frozen yet? That's what you get. <laughs> I mean, Nina did give Sten hypothermia earlier, so. Cat got to level 16. Nito. Um, he's the real prince, and we gotta get the Bat Lady Man. Um. Yeah, but did you just watch us murder one of your own guards? And you're okay with that? Okay. That's fine. Okay, Pachape, you psycho. You just had the key. Just opened it. Um, you're everything. It's a little off, John. John, snap out of it. We're breaking you out of jail. Hello. Um, yeah. Why do you think that is? There's a fake prince. We got to do something. Um, what you drawing? Yeah, it looks like a nice little house on the prairie. How do we save him? Come on, Jean. Let's go. Duh. Um, I mean, I guess. We're kind of using you to get to the Bat Lady, but it's fine. I hate you. This is no time for small talk. Let's go. You're being broken out of jail. You don't have time to paint this picture. Oh, no. He kind of likes it. He didn't really like being the prince. You're stupid. You need. You have a country to run. Yeah, Tepe's going to smack the shit out of you. Oh, or she's just going to cry. Oh, look at this. Look at this, Jean. You made your sister cry. Oh, Jean. This is what you did. A royal ring, huh? Oh... Hmm. Where's this ring at then? That would prove that you are the prince if there's only one of them. So, uh, you got the ring, right? John, we're saving you, you dummy. Gosh. He, oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Oh, he gave it to Nimufu? No. She doesn't like us. It wasn't necessarily... Yes, she is. She's not good. Aw. Poor Jean. He was just trying to look out for the witch, but, uh... She's evil, and she turned you into big, a fat, ugly frog. Not that you're an ugly frog now, but you were. Yeah, what is wrong with you, Jean? Idiot. Alright, so we gotta go see Nimufu to get Jean's friggin' ring back. And actually, it's almost like I thought of this ahead of time or something, but um, Nimufu is actually going to be chilling at the Wild Cat Restaurant, because duh, that's clearly the hottest place to be. It's where everyone is at these days. Um, so clearly, that's where Nimufu, since she's obviously a party girl, um, and, and where do you think she found all these men to lure back to her tower and turn into stone? She found them here at the Wildcat restaurant. Just kidding. It's all... It's a witch party. Oh, I see. They're having a reunion. Um, that's because it was an all-girls school and you're having a reunion. Silly. Yeah, where is Nimufu? Why do you all look the same? Yeah, she still does that. She's a psycho. Worshipping the porcelain god. <laughs> oh, I guess she's in the bathroom throwing up then. Oh. We am having fun! Fight me at the bar! Unfortunately, we all have a friend just like that. Well, let's kick him out. And I really like this background specifically. This is the only time you see it. But when you have um, the wild cat in the back there, and you have the granny sitting there, it's just really cool that they did this battle background. For this random drunk girl that you just have to fight, who looks exactly like Nimufu. Okay, that was rude. Not even Nimufu used thunder on us when we fought her. What do you think you're doing? Punch her right in the face, Rand. Knock her out. Nice. No money. Probably spending all the boobs, that's why. Mmm, I see. Yeah, you can fight her as many times as you want, actually. Say, why don't we have a party with boys next time? Um... Have you tried not being a witch? Well, you want to throw your puking in here? Oh, no. 
We knew you couldn't. Oh, you're one of those. She's crying and puking. Of course, you're one of those, the new food. Hey, um, do you have a ring? Yeah, Jean gave it to you, and then you kind of turned him into a big fat ugly frog. You dropped the ring in the toilet when you were throwing up. What the hell is wrong with you? No, it's a royal ring. I hate you. Alright, we'll jump straight into the toilet, stupid drunk lady. Yes, we'll jump in the toilet. Boom! And of course it's a giant toilet. What were you thinking? What is that? That's shiny. Is that the ring? Let's grab it. Oh my gosh, real butterfingers. Well, shit. Ring. Oh man, we gotta chase that. Ring? Where did it go? Oh, look, it's floating down here. Perfect. Sup, man? Good job. Butterfinger Ryu, jeez. Alright, well, let's take this back to Sima Fort. You think it's weird that we just jumped in the toilet? Um, it was an important ring to Mufu. Duh. Yeah, we're lying. We jumped into this toilet just to, just to trick you, to prank you. Um, Nimufu, he actually liked you, and you turned him into a big ugly frog, so you're dumb. That's what you get. Alright, I'll meet you guys over in Seema Fort. Alright, and we are back in Seema Fort. On our way here, Nina did get level 17, and she did learn Drain, where she absorbs the enemy's AP. I don't find myself using that too often, but you might, so uh, go ahead and use it. So let's go find Jean. Since, uh, the dummy, dummy, dummy. Got himself locked in jail, but now we got the ring that he was telling us about. So, hopefully that can prove that he is the real prince. He's not an imposter like the other guy. What's up, John? Hmm, yeah. You don't want to know the awful, disgusting things we had to do to get it, but I'm glad you have it again. Hmm. What an idiot, John. He's just singing about the witch. Nimufu is trash, okay? Oh my gosh, John. You are so frustrating. This frickin' frog prince. Tepe's gonna smack the shit out of you. Let's get rid of the imposter, let's go. Hello, King. It's your actual son right here. Hopefully you can see him. Um, that is... You're the imposter. You're not even... Well... I guess you do kind of like more like the king than actual John does. But that means nothing! <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. I can't pay. John just wants you to chill out. You're gonna get an ulcer. I understand why you like this though, because John is quite frustrating. Hmm. And John is saying, I have the royal ring! My friends jumped into a few covered toilet for it. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, he can't be an imposter if there's only one of those rings. Hmm. Oh my gosh. He has a royal ring too? What is this? Wow, we're shook. There's two royal rings? You got a fake! Oh, Patepe. Yikes. Uh oh. Kill the imposter. You're the imposter. Yeah, is the father dumb or what? <laughs> You're very scary, just like your mom. Goodbye. I want fly pudding. He's clearly senile. And Vitepe just does not care. She doesn't have time for that. Fly pudding? What about it? Oh, John's slight pudding is the best, huh? A cooking contest? I don't know if I necessarily want to do that. Um, I guess. Fly pudding. That sounds disgusting. It'd probably be, like, crunchy. Alright, so Jean just needs to make fly pudding better than the prince, and, uh... Then he will prove that he's the real prince, I guess. 
you lose, you and your friends will be killed. Whoa! Whoa! Excuse me, are you going to kill us now? Oh my god. So if Jean loses, we get we get killed. If Jean, if that airhead doesn't make the fly pudding right, we die. Is this a joke? Oh my god. Well, if Jean is such a good cook and Pichepe says that that's her brother, I guess we have nothing to worry about. Gold fly pudding. Hmm. The ingredients are key for the recipe, huh? Plan to make a cockroach and green onion salad. Blech. Warm with caramel sauce. Blech. And gold fly pudding. Blech. So we gotta go find the ingredients for that. That should be easy, right? Oh, man. And so he's gonna be doing the same thing. How original. Imposter. Well, I guess John just has to make those dishes better then. Um, I think this is a little unfair. We get executed and he has a full team of chefs behind him. What is this nonsense? We are so screwed. How do we find ourselves in these messes? Um, yeah. Our lives are on the line now. Let's do our best. Screw you, Pitepe. You shoved us in the water, and you may put us in this situation. I blame all of this on you. Anyway, guys, in the next episode, I guess we'll go look for these ingredients so Jean can make some pudding so we don't die. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please consider subscribing, and I appreciate all the support. See you in the next one.